A little earlier I talked about the AVC setting and how it would control the height of the cut. I also mentioned that it may be required sometimes to vary the setting as the electrodes wear. Well, how can you tell if you have the optimum settings? What signs are there to tell you which way you need to make adjustments? Well, the first thing, as I mentioned at the beginning, was the angle of the cut. If you're cutting too low, you will get a cut that's very narrow at the top and will generally tend to fan out underneath. If you're cutting too high, you will get that taper leading in, but you'll also get a wide and a non-distinct cut. So the height of the cut is a very critical factor. But speed is also another thing. Now, the effect of speed is often seen in dross. And I'll just draw the material through here. This is our cut. Now, you've probably seen it before, but on plasma cut parts, it's quite often that there's slag or dross underneath the edge of the cut. Now, if this dross is fairly large, but quite flaky, in fact, Quite often you can put your fingernail under it and just flick it off. If you were to drop the part on cement, often the, a good percentage of the dross would just simply fly off due to the shock. Now this is what's known as low speed dross, and it's by far the preferable form of dross. But you'll notice as you increase the speed, this dross will actually reduce until ideally you get a nice clean cut with no dross, no build up. If you were to keep on increasing the speed, quite often you'll find what's called high speed dross. Now this can be in a couple of forms. It's often pre present in a small hard bead at the top edge of your cut. Now this is a nitride and it's very, very hard as I mentioned and it will not come off. It has to be ground. Now that's a result of too high a speed. Unfortunately, high speed dross can also take the form of a, high, of a hard dross on the bottom edge, but you'll notice that it doesn't come off easily, and that's how you can tell if it's low speed or high speed dross. Good little sign there to tell you which way you need to adjust your settings. Don't be afraid to experiment, because sometimes good results can be gained by going way outside what you feel are the normal limits. Sometimes even going up as much as 50% above what you're cutting at will give you surprising results. But you have to try them and don't forget to write down your results so that you can apply them on the next job.